there's almost no divorce that happens or they're pretty rare that happen that isn't involving real estate. I mean, that's right. Most of middle-class families out there's primary assets. So real estate is going to be implicated at the end of the divorce, which is the equitable division of the community's assets. There's going to be a determination. There's going to be a divorce decree that severs that and makes determinations on who gets what and how that goes. How can somebody who's in that ensure that when the court does make that judgment, they don't do anything that's going to create any title problems or vesting problems with the real estate that they're dealing with? So one simple one is um, assuming that the, the real estate is owned free and clear, for example, or there's provisions in the divorce decree as to what happens to the existing loan on the property. And one spouse is being immediately removed as part of the divorce, uh, assuming you're negotiating a settlement, which most divorces are going to end with a settlement. You're not going to have a judge basically ordering a resolution on all issues, including the real estate. But assuming that the parties are negotiating and have negotiated a resolution, the easiest thing to do is just as part of the entry of the, the decree, before the settlement is finalized and the decree is entered, require that the spouse that's not being awarded the property execute a warranty deed in favor of the spouse who is being awarded the property so that title is clearly and undoubtedly in the spouse who has been awarded the real estate. So that's one simple thing that can be done to make sure you don't have title issues later on. The other is to make sure if you're, if you can't do that or you don't do that, make sure that the decree has magic language in it as to the conveyance of the real estate. So first it has to have the legal description to the property. The address, the assessor parcel number is not adequate and title companies will not ensure title in the name of the spouse who was awarded the property without that. Something else will have to be done should that spouse want to sell the property at a later date. So the divorce decree must have the legal description. Then it should state clearly and expressly that all right title and interest in and to the property is vested and awarded to the spouse effective as of the date of the decree and no further deed or conveyance is required. So basically, effectively, what you're doing is saying that the divorce decree is akin to the deed. It is what is being utilized to vest title in the name of the spouse for whom the property is awarded. And if you have that magic language in there, it's likely that a title company is going to ensure title in the name of that spouse and allow that spouse to sell the property without any further participation by the spouse who was not awarded the real estate.